Okay, this video is going to show you the beginnings of editing your movies in iMovie. I've got some clips in my event area, and I've got a project open called ITCC Video. And when I want to start adding these clips to my timeline. So here's the basic procedure. I can click on a clip, and a plus sign will appear, and I'll add it to the timeline. But note what happens when I click on those clips. If I hold my mouse over this plus sign for a few seconds, it'll, sh it'll say, add four seconds to the movie. So it'll actually go in and add four seconds of video to my movie. If the clip is shorter than four seconds, it'll add whatever kind of percentage of, of that clip uh, is appropriate. If I click on this third clip, again, it'll add another four seconds of video. So that might not be what you want to do. So I want to show you just a couple of ways of uh, adding video, changing the durations, and then some keyboard shortcuts for doing this procedure. So I'm going to go kind of stretch out my timeline and, and delete all these clips that I added. Now another way to add video to the timeline is to click on a clip and let's go to the second one and just start clicking down and dragging out and so in this case I'm selecting about eight and a half seconds worth of video. If I click on the plus sign it will add that eight and a half seconds of video. If I do it again I can stretch out here and we'll do about six seconds or so, click on the plus sign, and it adds that range each time we click on the plus sign. All right. Now another way to do this with a keyboard shortcut is to select either the clip and do four seconds or select a range of 17 seconds. I can hit the E on the keyboard. Now you might think, well, why do I need to bring the keyboard into this when the mouse is, is working just fine? Well, the advantage is you can do this very quickly. You can select your range, hit E on the keyboard, and it will just pop right in. So it's kind of a, a right hand, depending on what hand you use, um, right hand on the mouse, left hand on the keyboard, um, select your range, E on the keyboard, and you just pop clips in as, as quickly as that. Okay, let's stretch out our timeline again here so we can see all the clips. And let's, let's get rid of some of these. So select them all and hit the delete key. Now, let's go back to our first clip and I wanna add the whole thing. So I might be able to select the whole range of 2.9 seconds, but let's not do it that way. I'm gonna click on the clip and click on the X key that will select the entire clip. If I want to add the second clip, I'll click on it, hit the X key, and that will select the entire clip. Now if I hit E on the keyboard, it'll add that full 12 second clip to the timeline. All right, let's do it again. Let's click this first clip now, hit X, hit E, and it's added to the timeline. We'll do it one more time. We'll take uh, this this clip here, and let's let's select a range this time. We'll hit E on the keyboard, and it adds that to the timeline. Now E, I like to kind of use a mnemonic for these. E stands for end. So every time you hit the E key, it will add the clip to the end of the timeline. All right. I'm going to click down in our timeline again. I'm holding down Shift and then hitting the Z key to show all the clips in the window. It shows me about 75% of, of the way of the full timeline um, when you hit Shift-Z. It won't quite send it all the way to the end, but that'll give you a view of the entire timeline in your window with some space to add some more stuff. Okay, But let's say I want to add a clip in between these first two. If I take my cursor and put it between the first and the second clips and click down, That'll stay there, and then I can go and select a range in this last clip, let's say. And what I'm going to do instead of hitting E to add it to the end is I'll hit W to insert the clip between the first and the second. Now, W, insert. How do you remember this? Well, I think of W as within. So if I want to insert a clip within two clips, I hit the W key, and that will add that clip in between 
the first and second in this case. Okay. There's a third way that you can add a clip. Let's say I want to bring in this particular one. I'll just select a range again. And I'm going to do what's called a connected clip. So I'm going to click down somewhere in the middle of this first one. And we'll go back up and just make sure this, this section is selected again. And I'll hit Q. Okay, And that adds what's called a connected clip. So my mnemonic for this, to remember this, is if you spell connect with a Q, then you'll remember it. So Q is for a connected clip. Now what this is also known as is what's called a cutaway. So if I start playing my video in this section, we cut away to another scene, and then eventually we cut back to the original video. Okay, so that is just several ways that you can begin to edit your video. You can start to add clips in different ways. You can use the mouse if you want to, but sometimes those keyboard shortcuts provide you a much quicker way to add the clips to the timeline. So hope that was helpful, and we'll see you next time.